Let us all draw our minds in. Let us all stand and go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Are there any unspoken prayer requests that you make them known by raising up your hand? God, we acknowledge that's all by our heads in prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, I want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us all together, together in this place of worship just one more time. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for, you, Lord, for, uh, for allowing us, Lord Jesus, to feel your presence as we came into the sanctuary. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the water baptism in your precious name and the infant of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for all your wonderful blessings and truth restored upon our lives, Lord. For, Lord, for keeping us safe as we travel over dangerous highways and byways, Lord, as we made our way to the house of worship, this house of worship, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary. And Lord, I ask for you all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you. Lord, touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will, Lord. Lord, I ask, Lord, to prepare our hearts right now to receive your word, Lord, and let your word fall on good ground and take root in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen amen. Amen. amen.
to the building fund, we ask you to bless all those that give and bless all that is out of here that give it to you. Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's my Savior. I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a friend. 
this little wonder. And if I go to Walmart or if I go anywhere and I try to sign a check in those titles, it can't be accepted. The power and the authority is in the name of Jesus. I love that message and I just, I thank him for it. I thank him for it every day. Amen. And the closer we get, the more glorious it is. Uh, I'm just thankful to be here, and I'm sorry I'm not here uh, on Wednesday and Sunday night, but it's just, it's expensive, and uh, I'm thankful to be here, and I always want to be here, and I love, I love Pastor Morrison, and I love everybody here. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thankful for the name. Everybody thankful for the name. Amen. Come on, everybody excited that you need to be a part of the body of Christ. Hey, Lord, the family name. Amen. I love the Lord. I'm thankful. Amen. For the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Praise God. Go ahead, sister. Help me testify. Go ahead. Uh, well. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Nah, you fine. I'm so you, thankful. You're good. Well, Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about heading to Georgia. Amen. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't do this often, I, but Joe, why don't you stand up and testify, bro? Uh, I want to thank God for all that you know, you brought my life and brought my food. Thank you for so many Amen. Praise God. Amen. God's a good God. Come on, somebody. I say God's a good God. How many feel in the house today? Come on, how many feel in the house today? Come on, look at somebody and tell them something good is getting ready to happen. Something good is getting ready to happen. Come on, something good is getting ready to happen. Hallelujah, clap your hands, lift your voice, and shout unto the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh! 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody help me give the Lord some high praises, right? Now. Give him some high praises. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I want to invite your attention to 2 Kings, one verse of Scripture. Out of chapter 6, verse 16. Consisted of horses and 
chariots uh -huh. of fire surrounding Elijah uh -huh. and his servant. Uh -huh. Afternoon, this afternoon, we want to talk about how the Lord is with us, uh -huh. yes. fighting for us, fighting for us. giving us strength in the way that we do not even know but God. Will you clap hands up the Lord, thank the Lord. I was recently, amen, traveling, amen, on Memorial, on my way to the bank to do some church business. Amen. But it's amazing what the Lord can do. Amen. When you're in the palm of his hands. All right, all right. And as I was driving, amen, going north on Memorial, but God, but God. there was a car that crossed over in my lane. And before I knew it, there was a collision. Mm. And after the collision, I discovered that I was on the other side of the road on the grass. It was like the Lord picked up my car and put me on the side of the road. I don't know how I got there, but God, will you clap your hands on the Lord? But God, I don't know how I got there, but God. It's amazing, amen, I stand here without even a scratch. And thank God, amen, the other individual in the car Amen, because, but God, yeah. he doesn't have a scratch. Will you clap your hands one more time? Yeah. It amazes me, amen, over the years when I was in the church, I cannot accept, shout, but God. Uh -huh. yeah. Over 27 years, amen, I lived without God. But it's amazing how the Lord came into my life at the age of 27 years old uh -huh. while my life was nothing but a mess. Uh -huh. But God. Uh -huh. Have you ever, amen, felt like you were in an impossible situation? I yes, have. Yes, yes, yes. I've been there. Uh -huh. Elijah and his servant certainly did. Uh -huh. They saw themselves in an impossible situation. Uh -huh. They knew that if the army attacked, they would be dead. Uh -huh. The natural response to this feeling is fear, uh -huh. which, amen, is what Elijah's servant, notice what I said, what Elijah's servant, There was a man of God on the scene, uh -huh. Elijah. Elijah. Yeah. Notice what I said. What the servant felt. Yes, he, did. he knew that without intervention from God himself, there would soon meet an end. Uh -huh. But thank God for a preacher. Uh -huh. Thank God for a man of God. They can see the invisible. Will you clap your hands unto the Lord? They can see the invisible. This land was vacant for over 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. In the middle of Thompson on a main street. Yes. It's no telling how many times God had called a man uh -huh. to come to this city. Uh -huh. With the word of God to plant a church right here on Harvard and it comes. Uh -huh. But God, when you clap your hands in the Lord. But God. But God. But God was already intervening in their behalf. Yes. Even as the enemy army was approaching, the heavenly army was prepared to meet them. Yeah. Elijah and his servant were surrounded by a host of divine warriors. Wow. Wow. Their 
enemy could not even get close to them. I'll tell you right now, we could see the invisible. There's angels right now. That's right. <laughs> All around, even at this house right now. Good God. Will you clap your hands up the Lord? I was in a 1969 Volkswagen, about 45 miles from the DMZ in South Korea. I was on my way to Happy Mountain. Amen. That's where we had services there in, at Camp Casey. And uh, on my way, amen, I was going about 60, 65 miles. Amen. I was having a good time. I was praising God on my way to church. Uh -huh. And then I looked in my rear view mirror. Uh -huh. <laughs> and my back top was going in the opposite direction. But I was still moving. Uh -huh. But God, look at that being such a Lord. This is my story. Uh -huh. But God, but I believe the scripture, the angel of the Lord encamps around those that fear him but God. I believe the angel picked up my car and set it on the side of the road. I didn't flip over. Amen. Got the car fixed and went to church. But God, when you clap your hands in the Lord, but God. Praise be, amen. Sometimes, amen, we're confronted with impossible situations. But as you can see, the angels that surround you, nobody can take you out of the palm of the Lord's hand. Thank you, Lord. Nobody. Because when you're in the palm of his hands, the only way that you can come out is if you get out on your own. That's right. Thank you. Nobody can take you out of his hands. Indeed, as they approached, Elijah prayed a powerful prayer that the army would be stroking with blindness upon which they abandoned their conquests. A preacher told me, amen, just the other day, he blinded their mind. I said, no, 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 no. He may have blinded their mind, but I'll tell you, they became blind. They became blind. Sometimes, amen, we can spiritual away with what the scripture says. But he prayed a prayer that God blinded. This verse teaches us that God is fighting for us in a way that we often cannot see. But Elijah knew about the heavenly army before he even saw it. That's right, preacher. That's right. Before he even saw it. Some of us need to put on spiritual hands to see the mighty God of Christ what he's going to do in this church put on some lens lens of faith yeah. would you believe God right now when you lift up your hands put on some lens of faith thank hallelujah and see amen the Lord see right here New Earth Tabernacle. We you clap your hands in the Lord. I recall one time there was a sister going to this church. Her husband died. And uh, she invited me to go to a restaurant with her son. He said, I'll sit down. Folks thought I was crazy about starting a building fund. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll sit down across 
but God. They said we are coming in to a handsome amount of money and we want to get a church $15,000. But God. One Christmas, I sit in my home. My daughter came up for Christmas. She said, Dad, I got something for you. I said, what? She had an envelope. It was sealed. She said, open it, Dad. And I opened it. It was sealed. And it was a check. For ten thousand dollars, from my son for a donation to the building. We were talking about God, God. Amen. Amen. How some folks, Amen, thought I was, Amen, kind of crazy. Yes. But I can see the invisible. Yes. There's something about seeing the invisible. God can work. When we see the invisible. I like that. You got to see the invisible. You got to see the invisible. I don't know about you. I already see a new church building that you already. I already see it full of the people. We just clap your hands on the Lord. But God. We just clap your hands on the Lord. But God. God is fighting for us. Yes, he is. I remember sitting in the trailer one time and uh, we had a few folks in the trailer sitting out there in the parking lot and the lady got out, came, came out of her house ran in the trailer and jumped on the piano and started playing the piano Amen. some folks think it was easy street when we first got here. That devil did everything that he could to run us away from here. But God, we can clap hands into the Lord. We still here. But God. He said devils from everywhere. I remember one lady. She came to church, and she was attending church, and she was doing pretty good. Then all of a sudden, she came up to me and said, so-and-so was talking about me, and so-and-so was talking about me. I stepped back and I thought, ain't nobody talking about that woman. She done lost her mind. So I said, Lord, would you please send her somewhere else? <laughs> I can't tell you where I told him to send her. I said, send her to Brother Howard's church. <laughs> I was a baby church. He had a church been in existence for almost a hundred years. He was pound that. <laughs> but God, one time I was over with Brother Howard's church preaching for him. Who did I see in, in the auditorium? <laughs> we was holding a conversation one time and he said, I got a lady in my church and this is how I am with troubled people. She came to me and said so-and-so was talking to about her. He just didn't know <laughs> that I prayed for that woman to go over there. Because he didn't have no better. We need to clap your hands. But God, we need to clap your hands. One more time. Elijah, he believed without sin, whereas the servant needed to see in order to believe. And God, was protecting them. You may not see some things, 
But as you hold on, you begin to see some things unfold. But God, we can choose to be like Elijah, relying on faith, even in situations that seem impossible. Yeah, preach. Even when we cannot see how God is working on our behalf, we can have faith that Elijah. God is fighting for us right now. We clap yeah. our hands and pray. God is It amazes me how the adversary has came against God's people throughout the Word of God. It would face me impossible situation. David, a young man, a shepherd looking after the sheep, the lion and the bear. And how mine we would think, how could the boy master he kill these things? But God. He went up against Goliath and an army with a slingshot. Hello. All God needs to use is your faith. Amen. And every Amen. one of us has been given a measure of faith. Amen. And if you use it and believe anything, it's possible. Anything could happen. Will you clap me and tell me? The next time you become fearful about something, think back to this verse and then talk. All it took was a preacher to have a measure of faith and action to see what his servant did not see. Praise God. Uh, I hate to personal with this, but I'm going to tell you real quick. Something happened here in the first time to an individual. He's here today. He had a great job working in an oil refinery, making good money, had good benefits, and the devil got after him. Cause him to lose his job. Enemy. But God. Yes, yes. I sit in I sit in the courtroom with him. Because he had to go to court to sue the people. That judge got upset with that company because they wronged these men. But God, they yeah, each ran, walked out of here with a hundred thousand dollars. We thank the Lord, but God, we thank the Lord. Yeah. Yeah.
know what the prayer was? Lord, will you please open your eyes? And sometimes people have a tendency not to see the Lord working in their behalf. That's why the Lord put a preacher in your life. Amen. To help you see some things that you did not see. Will you pray for the Lord? Ask God to help you to see. Make the decision to lean into faith instead of fear. Submit to God, knowing that He loves you and is fighting for you always. I'm going to wrap this up with a story here. I was in a place called Darmstadt, Germany. I'll never forget the preacher that came to my door and knocked on my door over and over again and I didn't see what he saw. Uh -huh. Go ahead, preacher. But he came back knocking Amen. on my door, knocking on my door. He did not know that I was about to lose my family and my whole career. But he came knocking. Yeah. Yeah. He saw something that I did not see. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, I got mad. I said, I'm going to go to church with him. And I went to church with him. The first time I went to church, I thought everybody in there were crazy. Uh -huh. They were clapping their hands. They were smiling, singing, just like we do here. Sometimes some folk get up and shout. I, I said, I'll never go back to that place ever again. Yeah. <laughs> but that old fella, he was seeing some things that I did not see. And he came back knocking on the door. I remember one time I told my wife, Tell him I'm not home. <laughs> he kept seeing some things that I couldn't see. And he knocked on the door again. And finally, I got upset again. I said, I'm going. <laughs> I went to church that day. I was sitting there in the pew, needing a fix. Then I finally began to put on some lens of faith. And I asked myself the question, can the Lord help me in my situation? That's the question. But God. But God. That's right. That was the question. And they got to singing a song about Jesus can fix it after a while. After a while. Amen. And I said to myself, sitting on the pew, I said, can he fix my situation? Yes. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. And I found myself at an altar. Uh -huh. Like it to this right here. Yes, Lord. Didn't even know how to pray. Uh -huh. I just went down there and kneeled, giving myself to the Lord. Uh -huh. Then two individuals got next to me. And they start praying like they needed God. I looked out the side and looked at one and they said, man, what are you doing? And then I said to myself, I'm going to copy them after them. And I started praying like they was praying. <laughs> and before I knew it, the Holy Ghost fell over me. I began to speak in other tongues as a prayer God gave me. Hallelujah. saw me repenting of my sin. He already saw me being baptized in Jesus' name. And he already saw me being filled with the Holy Ghost. Or the evidence was speaking by the tongues. I 
challenge you today. You got family members. Some of you have experience. Repentance, being filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in His name. God wants you to use you to see the invisible. Start seeing and being baptized, being filled with the Holy Ghost. But the evidence will speak on time. I'm going to tell you something. It works. It will work. Would you stand? Praise God. I know we that I get saved that day. And every charge that was against me was dropped. But God, you look at me into the world. But God. But God. Amen. 
the Lord's working in your behalf, sister. Come on, man. Come on, man. He's working in your behalf. Come on. I tell the Lord, I see it, Lord. Lord, I see it. Lord, I believe it. They say, come on, that's it, sister. Come on, he's working for you right now. He's working for you. He's working for you right now. Come on, faith is in the effect. Get what you need. Get what you need right now. Come on, faith is in the effect. Get what you need right now. Don't leave it out of it. Right now, right now, right now.
Praise God. We dismiss in Jesus' name. Don't forget service tonight. Amen. Prayer 530 and service at 6. Thank you.